Oh, today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the new Makita Impact XPS drill bits versus the Hilti drill bits that I bought. Now we are gonna use the 12, both 12 volt systems, the Hilti uh, impact driver, variable trigger only, brushed motor. The same thing with Makita, we're gonna use the Makita brushed uh, variable trigger impact, 12 volt uh, impact as well. So both of these aren't really that strong, but the focus of this is not against the tool, it's against the bits. It's always good to have something that has stuff you'll need like scissors right at your disposal without looking for them so that's why i got that kit there we go all right so let's check these out there you go i was hoping for uh a red background on those but that's all right i like the case though the case is a lot better than the other uh makita than the older one so, but these bits are seriously, seriously awesome. Both Hilti, both Hilti and Makita. So that is garbage. Let's put this away. This drill bit kit is all a craze right now. And we are gonna find out why. What we are gonna do is what, like what I did in a previous test, uh, when, I, when I had a drill bit war, uh, I, we are gonna use the same bit and we are just gonna go at it pH 2 and let's pick out a pH 2 from here which I got to order more Hilti bits so this kit was uh, the Hilti kit the, the Makita kit was $30 the Hilti kit was not this Hilti kit was 96 so three times uh, three times the price than Hilt, uh, than Makita. So, but that's why we do these tests. That's why I bought this was to see on how well these actually go. There we go. We are going to use Makita's. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So we have Makita's bit holder right here, black. That's awesome. I like that. Now I got Hilti's right here. My favorite tool that I own is right here. I love this thing. All right, so comparing the two, uh, the Makita uh, it has to have a very strong magnet in there to, to keep it in place because Hilti actually has a little has a ball bearing system in there to where a uh, powerful magnet and the the lock so so there we go there is makita's all right so what we are going to do is we are going to test out on how these are all right both of these have four amp hour batteries four amp hour four amp hour now let's see what this can do all right we're going to drive them in uh, there is a fuel gauge on the 4 amp hour, so battery is full. We're going to drive just a couple of uh, uh, two and a half inch screws in. I think these are masonry uh, bits. No time. We're not timing things. All right, that's that. Let's do the Hilti. All righty. What we are. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this go and then put it on to the to the actual screw. Ready? Go. <laughs> yeah. It caught it. It caught grip and drove it in all the way. It is Hilti's turn. All right, ready? Go. <laughs> Get to that one. That one's screwed. All right, let's try it again. All right, so ready, 
Go. Wow. I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. I am having trouble destroying these. All right, the, um, Makita's turn. All right, so ready, go. Oh my God. All right, so those are, that is a result. That's a result right there. All right, there we go. All right, so as you can see, this bit is actually still looking good. Not much, uh, not much damage. Let's actually take this out. See, it's from Hilti. All right, so not much damage. It, do, it did get rid of the clear coat, but the shape of the actual uh, PH2 Phillips is still there. All right, take that out. As you can see, Kita does have some uh, chipping at the tip. There's a little curve uh, at the tip. It's the, the Makita's bit still is completely usable. But Hilti took the least amount of damage. Because Hilti's barely did anything. All it did was get rid of the... It just made it just made an area shiny. That's all it did. But Hil, uh, Makita's is... Makita is completely misshapen. All right, but I, I think we should destroy them. All right, let's destroy these. All right, so when it comes to this, we are going to take uh, Makita and Hilti out of the equation when it comes to tool. We are going to use the Milwaukee 2853-20 uh, to kill these bits. We are going to use this on speed three and completely destroy these bits. Let's drive it in. Didn't even need the, uh, the impacts. All right, drive this in. This is gonna be for one. I am gonna pull the trigger and put it on there while it's spinning and it should destroy the, the screw, the screw head and the bit. So we're gonna judge this by Whichever drill bit smokes uh, into a cloud first. Because that's what I experienced last time I had a drill bit war. So whoever uh, whoever creates the big cloud first loses. All right, so ready? ready? Go. Go. All right, so as you can see, the bit is completely destroyed. And this is the Makita. It is completely destroyed. There's nothing left. And so the Hilti still has a stem in the middle from where it was for the, uh, uh, where the in, in the middle of the Phillips, if you will. So, so the, Milwaukee, the Hilti actually has more material left than the Makita does. The Makita is completely flat and the Hilti has some material left. They're both done, they're both useless, that they're these both are dead bits, but that is a result. It was a fun video to do. I love I love destroying bits like this just to see which one lasts longer. But yeah, that's uh that is a result. So that's pretty much it. Uh you know like the drill bits are cheap for a reason. Uh, and so even the most expensive drill bits do die out. Like that is completely destroyed. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.